Hey, hey, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Well, this is a special segment that we're going to do today. Uh, I was asked just now by someone. I get asked questions every once in a while. People email me or something. And uh, so that's how we're going to be drinking and smoking now. That's right. Getting naughty. I told you. I live in South Beach, guys. I was a <laughs> nice. Anyways, so I got a few questions from some boys. And let me give some shout outs to some folks, first of all. All right. Let me give some shout outs out here to uh, Edwin C. Boom. How can I help promote your channel? <laughs> That's the spirit, brother. That's the spirit I like to hear. Ah, uh, shout outs to M. Evans. Uh, glad I found your channel. Hey, man. Yo, brother. You just stick around till the tsunami comes. <laughs> hey, we'll be good to go, brother. We'll be good to go together. Like I told everybody, like I told everybody, uh, I don't remember how many videos back, but in 2020, going from uh, December, for, December 31st, 2020 to December uh, to January 1st, 2021, I'm going to have a mansion here. Well, I'm going to borrow one of my buddies. And we're going to party here. All of you watching this channel, you come on down and you hang with Shamari. We're going to be rich because you hodled us. Because you hodled. Oh, my gosh. When the big money comes, the custodian ship, you're going to be rich. And we're going to party here. I got buddies. I got an Egyptian buddy. He's got an airplane. We'll get on the plane. Yeah, we'll fly around the beach. Oh, plenty of yachts. We'll go catch some mahi mahi and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll get some. We'll get some uh, housing available, and we're gonna party together. Okay, so shout outs to M Evans. Shout outs to Edwin C. Shout outs to Adabob. Shout outs to Frank Ronkes. Great content, great show. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. I like you like this shit. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think that smoking and drinking would go off so well. No one seems to really give a shit. Thanks to Tim Takiri. Thank you, ma'am. Maxi Nisbet. Jim Maud. All of you guys. All of you guys. But we are here for something serious. So shout outs to all of you guys. But we're here for something serious. Because today, uh, my buddy here, Edwin, he asked me a serious question. And... It is serious. It's serious. And people do want to know that. Um, he asks, can you do a vid on a balanced portfolio and how much is really needed? So we're going to do that right now. And we are going to switch over to Booyaka. So we're going to do this video now. And so first of all, and so I have to just say it this way. I don't tell you what tokens to buy, guys. Like my portfolio is fat. I own most of the top 10, and then I, I have a few sprinkled around outside of the top 10. So this was a question about portfolio. So I'm not going to tell you what portfolio you should have, but I'm going to tell you what portfolio I have and describe my, um, my uh, reasoning behind it. Okay, As you know, my name is Shamari Clark. I am an investor. You can go to forexfactory.com, F-O-R-E-X, factory, one word, dot com. Type in my name and the search, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. You can see, you'll see my profile. You can either go read what I said on the actual threads, or you could just see my trades. You can see you're actually talking to an investor, right? There are a lot of people who are investing, and they call themselves investors. You're not an investor until your money makes you money. Okay, if you have to go work a nine to five job, you're not an investor. You're an invest. You're investing, but you who are watching this video, well, I'm sure you're trying to make it to invest or level, my level, and uh, that's where we're gonna go. Obviously, I'm a traditional investor. Uh, you saw me freak out the other day about, man, what you know? Why the fuck does everything go down just because Bitcoin goes down? You know, it doesn't make fucking sense, right? Because yeah, these fucking people are not investors. They're fucking amateurs, okay? <clears throat> uh, you know, when, when, when Ford says, when the analysts say, hey, if we think Ford's going to sell 100,000 cars and they sell 120,000, guess what? That's called good fucking news. Prices should go up, okay? <laughs> when a company like Ripple says they, oh, we just got Bank of America and we just got American Express and the price goes down because Bitcoin... You're fucking idiots. Not you, not you guys watching, but the market is acting moronically. It's, it's moronic. It doesn't make sense. Good news means the asset goes up. So I'm going to tell you just, so I was asked, like I said, like I showed you, he asked, what should be in your portfolio? 
um, and how much is really needed. I can't say how much is needed. I mean, because these guys are going to be driving prices up. I mean, but which ones and by how much? Do you see why I couldn't say how much is needed? Because it's like, do you need 10,000 Ripple or 30,000 Ripple to get to some sort of price target you want? Do you see what I'm saying? Do I need 5 Ethereum or do I need 50 Ethereum? Are the big money, and that, that, so is the big money going to be buying Ethereum enough to drive up the price so that the holdings that I do have make me the amount of money that I want from them? You see what I'm saying? So I can't tell you, there is no answer to that. Like, there's no answer to that, how much is needed. Yeah, we drink around these parts, motherfuckers. I did that regular show. Now I'm answering for my peeps. You know what I mean? This is for the peeps. Obviously, you ask me questions. You love me. You know me. I love you back. Bang. We don't need to pretend <laughs> around these parts. So I don't know how much needed, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what my portfolio looks like. So, Shmori, what does your fucking portfolio look like? Good question, sir. And this is what I'll tell you. To understand portfolios, first of all, you need to understand the different types of tokens that are available. Cryptocurrencies, platform tokens, utility tokens, and transactional tokens. That's what makes up the world of crypto assets. So let's get deeper into that. Cryptocurrencies are the most well-known native blockchain assets with only the basic characteristics of those of a fiat currency. In other words, all this stuff, the media calls all this stuff cryptocurrency. They're not. They're not cryptocurrencies. Ripple is not a cryptocurrency. <laughs> Golem is not a cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are made to replace money. That's the big dream. One day, no more fiat. We'll have this cryptocurrency, and that will be our money. That's a cryptocurrency, okay? And so to invest wisely, you have to know the differences. So uh, so like I said, they have the basic characteristics. Not I said, but this article said. Have the basic characteristics of those of fiat currency. But are, but are decentralized. The only purpose of these crypto assets is to act as money. Or digital currencies which offer a more secure and decentralized experience to the users. That's what there are. So Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, those types. Dash is another cryptocurrency. I guess Bitcoin Cash is obviously trying to be a cryptocurrency. In other words, those tokens that are meant to be money, in other words, I'm able to, they're trying to make their money. So when I go to Starbucks and get my coffee, I pay in Bitcoin or Litecoin or Moneros, whatever, right? Those are cryptocurrencies. Man, you're going to tell us about your portfolio? Yes, but I'm just going to break these down to you and then tell you what I own and why I own it, okay? Now, the next type of tokens that we have are platform tokens, okay? Platform tokens. Platform tokens are designed to act as a platform for other decentralized products. They use the blockchain technology to build a database that is distributed among all the computers present on that blockchain. This overcomes the limitations of traditional servers as the database cannot be shut down or damaged as long as the computers are contributing it. And I'll add another thing, it can't be motherfucking hacked. So, you know, that's the power of the blockchain for me. Can't hack this shit, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so here you go. What are platform tokens? Platform tokens. EOS, Ethereum, NEO. Uh, um, oh, what's the other ones? Anyways, but these are ones that are made to run D apps on them. So Ethereum's here. And then me as a company, I can build a D app. Boop, 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 and I can put it on their platform. Right? Uh, I can write a D app. I can put it on Ethereum's platform. I can put it on Neo's EOS platform. You see, they're not EOS, Ethereum, and Neo aren't meant to be money, right? You're not meant to go and buy a coffee with them or something. Um, they're meant to be. Uh, the reason they value the value will go up is the more people put D apps on their platforms, that will cause the price to rise. All right, that'll cause the price to rise. Edwin, I hope you're listening to me. Edwin C., that will cause the price to rise. 
and on all of you listening to me, I hope. So uh, that's how that works. Now, the other kind of tokens are utility token. So utility token right here. And I'll describe to you, I'll read you what a utility token is. Utility tokens, also called protocol tokens, denotes decentralized services or units of decentralized services that can be bought, sold, and earned just like any real service token. These tokens can be exchanged for specific services like distributed storage, video, game currency, etc. That is. Uh, these tokens are developed with a specific use case in mind and act as an API key which is used to access a specific service. So um, I think that's called Sia coin and then Golem and Omisco. Um, you're going to, so a utility token is you buy it to do something on their network, right? So they're going to have their blockchain up and when you buy their token, you'll be able to do something on it. So for instance, for the, the video game is the easiest one because <laughs> well, I try to explain it to my buddies and they're all not all gamers, but I got a bunch of gaming buddies. And so this is how I explain it. They're going to have, say, a video game platform. And you'll be able to say you're playing this game. Uh, what's that shit called? Uh, the fucking shooting shit. Uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. So say Call of Duty. You're running around. You're badass. You're blowing shit up. You want a new gun? <laughs> you'll buy the token and just buy the gun. You know, you want new armor or something? I don't know. I don't play video games, so I don't know the things. But So don't diss me. Man, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. No, I don't. I don't play video games, but just this is the example I could tell you. So if you want to up your man's armor or something, you know, boom. You'll be able to use one of those tokens. That's called utility. And that's what you will use it. It's a utility. Do you see what I'm saying? Or I know like in the, um, they're talking about this distributed storage stuff. So you'll buy tokens, in other words, to buy space, to you know, um, um, store data like on some cloud. You know what I mean? So you'll here. Here's five tokens. Okay. Here's how much cloud space you get, and then you get to put it up there. Okay. Um, that's how that's gonna go. That's how they are. And now finally, transaction tokens, transactional tokens. This is finally right here. Transactional tokens. And transactional tokens are crypto assets launched to solve interborder transactional and payment problems. They enable cross-border payments with, uh, within seconds while providing the parties an end-to-end -end visibility throughout the whole process. Uh, they can further be divided into blockchain-based and IoT-based transactional tokens. I'm just going to do a quick thing. So transactional tokens, IOTA, Ripple, Stellar. So as you all know about Ripple... Ripple is for the banks, for institutional banks. Ripple is going to make banks be able to transfer money from anywhere in the world to anywhere else in the world in three to four seconds. Um, actually, there was a uh, test run that just happened the other day, and they actually, I think it was from like Luxembourg to Mexico, two seconds it took. Um, so they are actually built just for transactions, in other words, liquidity. So how it's going to work is, if a company wants to use Ripple, they're going to buy thousands, millions of Ripples. And when they want to send money to another bank, if that money, uh, sorry, that bank um, will accept the Ripples. So they're not going to send cash. Like say, for instance, I want to send 50000 to, I don't know, my uncle in Jamaica. Okay. Yes, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> my uncle in Jamaica. Well, my bank is going to have all these Ripples. And they're not going to actually send money, fiat. They're just going to send 50 grand worth of Ripple. That takes two to seconds to go there. And that'll be that. Um, right? Um, and then IOTA, as you can see, IOTA is an Internet of Things thing. That's a different kind of thing. Um, it's not going to be used for cross-border money transactions. In When the 5G network comes... Um, the internet is going to be a thousand times faster than it is now. Or sorry, but mobily, mobily, mobile, not your regular internet, but mobile networks are going to be about a thousand times faster. You're going to be able to download a, a movie on your phone in one second. Like, I want to watch Pulp Fiction. Boop, boop. There it is. Pulp Fiction is going to be right there. And this internet of things 
your fridge is going to talk to you. The, your car is going to talk to you. Your watch is going to talk to you. Like all of these little things are going to talk. And that's what IOTA is about. So now we have the lay of land. Shamari, man, I thought this was about what you invested in. Yes, but I want to show you my mindset. In other words, if you don't know this, you're not investing properly. No lies, guys. If you don't know about the differences in these tokens you're buying. So first of all, three of them are tokens. Other ones are cryptocurrencies. You're either buying currencies or tokens. So if you don't grasp that, it's gonna be hard for you to invest properly. Now, Shamari, what do you invest in? Um, so look, the truth is I'm in this for the investment. I mean, it's not about whether I believe in this technology or not. Blockchain is going to take over the world. That's that's it. This is Internet 3.0. First Internet was the regular Internet. Second Internet was when Facebook, Twitter, all these what these social media crap started coming out. Fucking take a picture of your lunch and show everybody. Now the new Internet, Internet 3.0 is this decentralized, unhackable. <laughs> Un, un, unliable. You can't cheat it. You can't lie to it. You can't hack it. And that's what we're in. Okay. So now, Shamari, what are you into? Um. So what I'm into, guys, is obviously the big money is coming. And as the big money, whoops, let me just keep that there for you while I talk. And as the big money comes in, uh, I look at things from the investment standpoint. I am an investor. Like I said, there's a difference between someone who's investing in their little E-Trade account, but then goes to a nine to five rat race job or someone like me, my money makes me money. I'm a professional investor. If I don't go and invest, I won't make any more money. I don't have a nine to five job. I can't go punch in some clock or do something, you know, show up at some court case and win my client's thing and make money. Now, my money makes me money. And as an investor, uh, I've been investing for over 18 years. Um, like I said, you can go see my trades on Forex Factory uh, to prove to you that I'm an investor. So at least you know you're really talking to an investor, not just someone who's investing. And so, Shamari, are we going to get to it? Yes. I'm invested in cryptocurrency. When the big money comes, um, in terms of um, being a store of value, um, that's what these cryptocurrencies are going to be. The big money when they get here, they're going to look at these as stores of value. So let's go. We're going to break it down um, category by category. Cryptocurrency. Are you invested in cryptocurrency? Yes. I have Bitcoins. I have Litecoins. Um, different types of Bitcoins. Different types of Litecoins. Monero, no. Uh, Dash. I own a little Dash. And that's because when the big money comes... Um, they're going to see these, I know that we look at them as cryptocurrencies and that we'll be buying, and I just said it, I know, buying our Starbucks with it and all that, but the big money, they're looking at it as, uh, commodities. So they're looking at Bitcoin as gold and Litecoin as silver. So it's like buying gold or silver, not to be spent. Like if you buy a brick of gold, you don't, you know, shave off a couple of shavings of the gold to pay for your, <laughs> your Starbucks coffee, right? And that's what the big money is talking about. And that's what the SEC and also the regulators here in America. I put up a C-SPAN video of a, a regulatory hearing here in the, in the Senate. And you can see the way they're talking. Bitcoin, Litecoin, what else? But they're going to be viewed as commodities. Um, and you already heard the SEC guy the other day just say they're not um, securities. They're commodities. Well, they're just not securities. But believe me. I've looked into it, and they're looking at to make them commodities. So it's like buying gold or silver, but you will be able to spend it. So I'm invested in uh, just the brand name cryptos. So uh, Bitcoin and Litecoin, those are my two cryptocurrencies that I own, and I just keep stocking up on those. Now I am also, now I'm very, very, very into platform tokens. Why platform tokens? In terms of an investor, what good is it as a investor for you, Shamari, to have platform tokens? Well, the beauty is this. The platform is there, but as more and more D apps, distributed apps are placed on that platform, 
that's where it will derive its value. Okay, platform tokens will derive its value from people using that platform. And so uh, I am all about platform tokens. I own them all pretty much. Ethereum, all these three, e uh, well, I sold my EOS, which I'm glad. Look at what happened to their mainnet last weekend. But I have Ethereum, I have NEO. Stellar is over here, and I know they're saying it's a transaction token, but they also have a platform section to them where dApps can be run on. So they're kind of a multi thing. So I own Stellar as well. And any platform token, Tron, I'm about to get into. Um, they just put their main up today, actually, the 25th. Platform tokens. Why am I investing in platform? Because that's where you're going to make the most money. Everyone wants D apps. Every company in the world is going to want to have a D app to run, right? It's like right now, every company in the world has a little app on their, on, you know, you can go to the Play Store and you see all those little apps, right? Yeah, well, they're going to be running them on distributed networks. And these, these, the platforms, they're going to be running them on these distributed platforms. And so that's going to make the prices of these particular tokens rise as more and more banks and just anybody any any company that has a little app they're going to be you're not going to they're not going to have centralized apps anymore probably in the next year or two you're going to have to have a decentralized app and so um i am big 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 on platform tokens um now i'm not dissing anybody but uh, hold on a second Hey man, hold on, hold on a few minutes, few minutes. I'm just okay. doing my show. One second. Okay, so, um, so, okay, so, um, and I wanted to get more in depth, but I have people here now. So, utility tokens, utility tokens. Like we said, people have to use that platform and then buy the uh, the token for it. So you're kind of hoping that enough users, right? Like in these ones, these these platform tokens, companies and people are going to be writing D apps on them. This one are more single users. Like I said, guys playing uh, the shooting games and all that, uh, you know, whatever the games are, you know, those games. I'm not down. I'm not down with utility tokens. Um, it, in terms of an investment, you're gonna need to have enough people on your platform to make it worthwhile. And what if people don't wanna play Call of Duty on your platform? What if they wanna play it on some other platform? So to me, that's a little lame. So I don't invest in utility tokens. Uh, I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying for me. Now transactional tokens. Obviously, you know getting your fiat money to your flipping trading account takes three to five days. I'm not done with that. So I have Ripple and Stellar and IOTA. I, I have shit tons of all of that because that's going to make the money move around the world super fast. Stellar is going to do this thing where they're going to do micro payments. So a little a lady in Africa, a little lady in some village in Africa can get a little micro payment from her son who goes who's working in the big city now. Um, you don't know, but a lot of people are what's called the unbanked. They don't have bank accounts in the world. And Stellar is going to help with that. IOTA, like I said, is Internet of Things, and Ripple, as we know, is for institutional banking. So, so um, you asked me for my portfolio and what my, uh, what did you ask me again? <laughs> How did you say it again? Balance portfolio. So, yes, balance. Balance. So, my balance is, first of all, uh, like I told you guys, the, the 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 crypto company has to be doing something already so you have to be with a major institution or or government and all these cryptocurrencies i own a lot of them i don't own monero i own dash litecoin bitcoin platform tokens i gobble these motherfuckers up gobble them up because that's the future all companies are going to have d apps uh on these kind of um, platforms i don't mess with utility tokens but I mean, I mean, they might work out or something. I mean, they're going to work, but just, I just don't see it as an investment opportunity. I'm here to get rich. I'm not here to play Call of Duty with the token. So I don't give a shit about that. And finally, transaction tokens. It's the future. I mean, obviously, 
It takes seven days for your money to get from one place to another. Having it go there in two seconds is the ultimate. And so I'm down with that. So if, if you wanted to ask me, I'm heavily weighted in platform. I have a little transactional. And um, the, it, if, you're a, if you're a cryptocurrency within the top 10, that's what I own. So if that helps, that helps. Like I said, I'm not here to tell you what to buy. Um, you know, I'm here to give you news and information. Um, that's just how I personally do it. <laughs> Full disclosure, this is not an investment video. Do not take investment advice on what I just said. I have to say that in case I get sued by anyone. <laughs> but seriously, guys, so that's how I look at it. Cryptocurrencies are going to be huge. All that, all that, the Litecoin, the Bitcoin, giant. Uh, platform tokens, obviously, are going to be huge because you need a platform to run the dApps on. The dApps are the future of the world, so those will be huge. Utility tokens, like I said, I'm not into them. And transaction tokens, well, it's obvious. People want to get their money somewhere faster. Those guys are going to make a ton, shit ton of money. So uh, if that helped, I hope so. Um, I hope that helped. I mean, that's how I'm doing it, okay? And I'll tell you, in terms of time frames, I'm not even thinking of cashing in any of this stuff till 2020. Not even thinking about it. All the money I put in, forget about it. Like, I don't own it. Okay? So, if that helps. So, guys, uh, thanks. Please subscribe below. If this helped you, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. If you want to help out this channel, you know we're going. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And in 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a show out here on Ocean Drive for you as a treat. So, you can see all the ladies and all the Lambos and stuff out here. Okay, guys. So I have someone at my door. This has been Shamari. It's been good to doing this for you. I'll see you guys tomorrow on our regular news thing. Uh, this was due to Edwin C. and M. Evans giving me props and Edwin C. asking for advice. So we did a special one just for you guys. See you later.